this is the life. There's nothing us Brits love more than a holiday. This is amazing. And when most only have one a year, we want to make sure it's the best. What a bloody nightmare that was. 12,000 kids kicking it back. What more do you want? I just hope this is more relaxing, don't you? Five ordinary households. Cheers. Cheers. Good health. Good health. With very different tastes. Oh. I'm taking on the job of a professional holiday critic. Oh, my God, buy all. Wow, that's beautiful. To give us real and honest reviews. Oh, oh yes. Doing a poo. Of what the world's most popular destinations offer. I think it's probably a bit better than Blackpool Tower, don't you? I think it's quite boring. They've agreed to check out the same accommodation. Oh, my <laughs> Lord, look at it inside. Oh. Try the same restaurant. She's cutting all that intestine. Look at that. That looks like a hoof. That is the most revolting looking meal I've seen for a long time. Uh, and explore the same sites. <laughs> Not many people around the world will have seen that in a row. Was one person's idea to paradise? A flushing toilet. Can be another's idea of hell. I want to go home. I hate it. I really do hate it. This has got to be the most exciting holiday you've ever been on. <laughs> no, it's the last holiday ever. <laughs>
This is OK. TV's massive. Is it? No. <laughs> oh. <In here. laughs> oh, this is fine. En suite. Oh, you're having a laugh. This what? is lovely and big, this one. Well, you can hold hands from your beds. <laughs> you can do unprotected hand holding. Oh, at least I won't be able to roll off. Hi, Llama. It's an alpaca. In return for the reviews. Oh, we Llama. We cover the basic cost of our household's trips. This you is like it so small. Yeah, nice. yeah, like it's Jesse's sleep. Because this Jessie is like gonna sleep. Not in here. Jesse's up there. No. But any extras, they pay for themselves. Nandy, the uh, wine. British Brakes had a new experience for the boils from Dorset. <laughs> who usually go on exotic adventures in countries like India. I was uh, excited about going to the Lake District. It was definitely a surprise to see how beautiful it was, and those mountains were amazing. When I first walked into the caravan, I wondered whether it would be boilproof. Oh, definitely, because these children will not just sit still. No. In impossible. Completely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the place, guys? We'll have to keep it clean, because it'll be a nightmare if it's... Um... <gasps> yeah, yeah, Jessie, uh, we all took our shoes off outside yeah, the yeah. door. Mm. Why won't it take food off me? Mm. It's just sussing you out. Already making friends with the locals are the Brayleys from Yorkshire. Look at that for a view. Solicitor Jane and Surveyor Simon are no strangers to UK breaks. If the weather stays like this, it'll be just glorious, won't it, all week? Hmm. I think everywhere we've been in Britain has been lovely. We've had some really nice holidays. We've been really lucky with weather. You know, the UK has a lot to offer. I think caravan sites are really relaxing. It's not that good. It's peaceful and nice. You know, you feel like you're on your holidays, don't you? And it's all calm and tranquil. I was thinking this week's going to be really boring. Got to get into it, Ben. You can't think that. There'll be loads to do. Guys, there's absolutely, like, nothing here. There's just... There's just us and field and sheep. There's no even, like, there's people. Like, where is everyone there's else? There's just us you and know? sheep. That's, That's because there's more shops. I can imagine, like, people here just drink milk straight from the teat. Yeah, I'd like to do that. Uh. Yummy. Uh. <laughs> Making their own entertainment, a fitness fanatic Pete, a painter and decorator from Burnley. A bit more room than in here anyway, you'd be knocking lampshades. And his wife, Linda. Glad to have a do at that, Pete, after. You're welcome to. I can't even lift them, let alone do that. When we go on holiday, we go where there's entertainment, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we like something going on. Yeah. No disrespect to the people that want a quiet life. Yeah. It's beautiful. I mean, very well kept, weren't it? But yeah, just yeah. too quiet for yeah. our, our scene, yeah. weren't it, really? Yeah, yeah I wish it had a club house, eh? I know, wouldn't it make a difference? For us, it would, wouldn't it? Uh, we'll have to try and... Go oh, easy with that orange juice now. Yeah. You know it's strong. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> the number one attraction for visitors to the Lake District is hiking. There's over 150 different walks on offer. Hello, my fellow hikers. <laughs> <laughs> Ranging from climbs up Scarfell Pike, the tallest mountain in England, to others a little less challenging. How long is it likely to take us? I don't know, maybe three hours, I think. Three hours? Walking to see a view. Oh, what a great day this is going to be. <laughs> Our households will be reviewing Cat Bell's Fell, one of the park's most popular heights, if you can find it. Is that Cat Bell's or is that Cat Bell's? I don't think that's it because, well, no, that no. where we stood here. That's here, isn't that's it? That's here, yeah. Well, it's like blind leading the blind with you two. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Local legend has it that the fell's name came from the number of wild cats that once stalked the area. We're not even a third of the way up, Dad. Oh, we are. Oh, we're not. I don't think it's a very testing walk, that one. The eminent walker, uh, Alfred Wainwright, 
describes the, what we did as being one where grandmothers and children can walk with equal confidence. We should have all been able to uh, cope with that, shouldn't we, really? <sighs> it's quite an easy walk, isn't it, really? Them two are slowing us down. <sighs> Come on, ladies. Can I sit down? Hurry up. Oh, give me life. Oh, it's rocky up here. Some people don't see this sort of stuff, do they? No, but we're from Yorkshire, so... So the novelty kind of wears off. Walking up a mountain, hills, views, scenery. People from Yorkshire walk up mountains every day just to go get a packet of tights from off-licence. But we do, <laughs> though, on a smaller level. I don't. <laughs> I order my tights online. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Hurry up. Oh! Come on, we're nearly there now. You can see the top. The one and a half mile uphill hike takes you to Cat Bell Summit, which offers panoramic views of Derwent Water. Come on, slow coach. Why are you so fast? <laughs> this is amazing. I hope the view's worth it. It definitely it is. is worth it. Wow, that's beautiful. It's all real. It's all beautiful. But once you've seen it, you've seen it. Well, it's been a nice way to spend a few hours in miserable sods. Best bit for me was the breathtaking view at the top of the lake. Really? Well, it had to have, it had to have, to have some reward getting to the top of it, didn't it? It doesn't look much different from the top to what it does to the bottom, personally, in my opinion. And uh, it's just a waste of energy, <laughs> really. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Belfie, show that ass. That is so cool. That's why it's called the Light District, because of that lake. I think the view's amazing, the view don't you? The view's amazing. But I feel like if it was, like, palm trees, the sea, like, I feel like I'd enjoy it more. Like, I just don't like this... Is it climax? Climax. <laughs> <laughs> Climate. I feel like if there was a bar or a restaurant there, you'd, like, see... I think you'd enjoy it more, because you'd be looking at a nice view. Yeah. Whereas we had to take a pat lunch. Oh, yeah, that's I'm not feeling that. Thing is, you can find this view on Google Images. Mm-hmm. It doesn't give you any satisfaction, though, does it? <gasps> Google Images. I ain't got any satisfaction anyway. I don't like views. Well, sometimes you just got to make kids do things that they don't want to do. I mean it. Otherwise, nobody would ever start walking, would they? Walks well, are just boring. Each year, over 15 million tourists travel from around the world to visit the Lake District. Five ordinary households have the job of reviewing what makes a holiday here so popular. Hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Hello. Ooh. Oh, my God, he likes you, Ria. Bye. That's so random. If country walks don't quite float your boat, then a visit to what makes this region famous can provide plenty of entertainment. The National Park is home to 16 lakes. And the one that really pulls in the crowds is Lake Windermere, the largest natural lake in England. Don't swans. Look at this one right up again where the pool is. Give it the kind of tacky swans, you know. Yeah, they're they're a bit, uh, yeah, they snap at you. A bit naughty. Don't get too near, it'll have you. There are lots of ways to explore it, from water sports to fishing. But by far the most popular is a cruise. Hello. Oh, thank you. All aboard. Look at that now. Gorgeous. Ten quid gets you an hour's round trip. That's why it's one of the main attractions, isn't it? Because it is outstanding beauty. Mm. I'd recommend that that trip, would you? If I'd you recommend that to our friends, families, single people, yeah. I don't think anybody would uh, go on that and say negative things about it. No. It were nice, weren't it? See, I'd rather be out there on a jet ski or some water skis or a speedboat. Something a bit more, more exciting. exciting, yeah. Well, this is not exciting to you. No, it's boring as hell. 
couldn't really get my head around the boat cruise. It were a bit strange. It were like being at home and jumping in a taxi to Bradford and back for no reason. <laughs> we're like, what's point in it? You didn't get off, you didn't do all, you just went there and back. It's definitely for older people, like Stuart. <laughs> Oh, oh the look, they're waving. Hello. Hello. That looks more fun. I'd rather come on a big boat like this with a bit them. of comfort. I don't think I'd fancy being in one of them. But if you do fancy it, a kayak is a great way to get around the lake. Should Bluebell have an oar? No, she'll just hit me on the head with it. With a two-hour session costing around 28 quid. Get set. Go. go. I'm, the weird thing, I'm definitely going to beat you. <laughs> I always think I'm not competitive, and then when I get with my family and uh, play a game, I always seem to want to win. Yes, we're winning. I'm winning. I'm going to win. <laughs> not competitive at all, are we, Nan? <laughs> <laughs> it was really good to get out of the caravan, active and healthy, and it was fun. <laughs> Included in the price is instruction and equipment, meaning you don't need to be a water baby to take part. Oh. Oh. Wow, it's too cold. <gasps> Dad! What? <laughs> <Dad. laughs> We're in. I feel like your wetsuit defeats the object because you've got a hole in it. Yeah, I've got a hole in the bomb. Can you see Lovely. it? I had a whole outfit planned and I couldn't even wear it. So, I had a leopard print sports bra and some tight leggings. And then when they told me I had to get changed, I was so disappointed. I had to put that vile thing on. I don't feel sexy. I wish we had a Charlie's Angels one. Yeah, and then we'll come out of the water with a zip there, pull it down. Hello, Charlie's Angels over here. <laughs> Right, Ben, will you tap, please? Let right, me know. Right. It's in the right way. Right. 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 Dad! I don't like it. Why? Because we're too deep. At 67 metres deep, what actually lies below Lake Windermere's surface is to some still a mystery. Other kayakers and tourists in the area have claimed to have seen and photographed the Bowness. Local folklore says it's a large snake-like monster that rivals that of Loch Ness. Don't panic! Jeez, I was a nightmare. I was just sat there, I want rowing. Crying. I want crying. So if it weren't you, Eleanor, who was screaming, I don't like it, I don't like it, I want to go back, I want to go back? I think possibly it would have been easier had we done individual kayaks. Ben, don't do it so fast, please. Oh, my God. Why do you do it so fast? Because that's good. That's what you're meant to do. Are you liking it? Yeah, I love it. So you don't mind the water? Even though I hate water, like, I feel like, OK, like, I feel like a butterfly on top of the water. That was good, that. That was horrible. How do you know? I'm going to fall. <gasps> ah! It's only wet water. I think the main tip I would give for kayaking is don't argue, otherwise it's quite miserable. The faster you, you go, the less it wobbles. It's like anything, speed gives what are you it stability. Doing then? then slow down. Because, oh, I go, because you go like this, Ben, right? You're going like that and then you go left. Well, I'm still on my right. Eleanor, would you do it again? No. Ever? Never. Ever. 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 Again. Yeah, we get it, we get it. Before the National Park brought tourists to the area, its landscape had already caused other local industries to thrive. The company's most notable export has been immortalised in the market town of Keswick, and it's proving a big draw. I can't believe this is a museum on pencils. Really? This is the only pencil museum in the world. <laughs> no shit. Centuries ago, graphite found in local hills was cut to make the world's first pencils, and they're still manufactured in the area today. Yeah. Could we have tickets for four, please? Yeah, no, the pencil museum costs £4.50 to enter. <laughs> Follow some out there. 
and every year has 80,000 lead-loving visitors passing through its doors. Do you want to hear a joke about a pencil? No, you're all right. Funny? Nah, it's pointless. <laughs> but look at all the apparatus, all this rigmarole for the sake of one pencil. You'd pick a pencil up in normal life, you just draw with it or write with it, not knowing now that's made. Yeah, but now Go to not. the pencil museum and it makes you think all that's gone into it. Yeah. Mm. Would you really come here with your mates if you came to the Lake District? No. Let's go to a pencil factory museum. Don't, I just don't understand, dude. Come here. How much information is, can there possibly be to tell people about pencils? And who cares about it? <laughs> who wants to know? That's what I can't understand. No one writes anymore. Everything's on computers. They're just dying out. Why would you want to look at pencils? If I wanted to do that, I'd go WH Smith. Because they're different kinds of pencils. They're not just WH Smith pencils. I still don't understand why we went. It's a pencil. I just like to know about it. I thought it was really like interesting and very historical. Because when you walked in, it showed you like throughout how they made the pencils and you could see all the machinery. Like to me, that's interesting. Oh my God, this is like a woman with like no clothes on holding a weight. That's not a woman, that's a man. Well, it looks like she's got big boobs. That's mad. Why want... is that on top of a pencil? <sighs> The museum's star attraction is the world's largest oh colouring pencil. Oh my god, that is so good. This one's... Which is 25 feet long. I think the world's longest pencil might be there. Where? Oh, four. It weighs 446 kilograms. Well, that, you can't write with that, so that's pointless. You just need a rather large sheet of paper. Shut up, Dad. <laughs> hey, look at that. <laughs> this made the pencils. That's clever, isn't it? Well, it's well worth going to that, I, I say, yeah. For children as well. Yeah. Plenty oh, yeah, they had, <coughs> they had things for the children to do, drawing and colouring in. Competition when you so went So they round. had them with something to do. It weren't boring for them. I don't know what I want to draw. So much options. <laughs> oh, my God, I love this. So good. <laughs> I wouldn't mind working here, actually. I don't think I'd get bored. I'd just draw all day, just do random things. Yeah. If I worked there, I'd be team leader. I'd be going for it, wouldn't I? There isn't a huge amount of room in here, isn't there? That's why me and Ben are letting you, letting you do it. <laughs> I'm starving. I'm starving. It's hard, this caravan break. <laughs> Are you ready for another drink? Or have you had enough today? Hey, I'm on bloody holiday here. I'm a bit bored. So I've had a few wines. Yeah. So what? Do you want your soup? Do you want to dead the dish <laughs> I mean, or all your head? <laughs> I'd rather have it in the dish. I don't want to be wearing it. Good choice. <laughs> a night in the caravan, yeah, it's pretty boring. It's just you might as well be at home watching telly. That particular caravan site were like going in a retirement bungalow. Too quiet. Too quiet, weren't it? Yeah. No! Really? Absolutely not. Bluebell, you're just about to have supper. Just get a step out. out of the out of the kitchen. Bluebell, don't be annoying. Get out of the kitchen and wait till we've made your supper. Go or on. you'll go straight to bed. <laughs> the thing is about a self-catering when you go on holiday is that it's really not a holiday. Mm. Oh, no. Not for me, anyway. It's a less functional kitchen than you're used to. Well, it's tiny. Yeah. Think of our house, reduce it by 50 times, and then imagine the sort of pain we'll have to go through. So, you're going to eat the risotto? No. You are eating some. You need to start doing what we tell you. The Lake District's soaring mountains offer a host of activities for those that like a bit more adventure. Steep. It is steep. Everywhere's hilly around here, though, isn't it? Yeah. Honister is home to England's last working slate mine and one of the area's most popular extreme sports centres. You're going to step through the waste belt, 
and into those leg loops, just like a bit of clothing, yeah? I don't know how I'm feeling about this. Why is that, then? Because I'm petrified of heights. You don't know it's going to be that high, though. <sighs> Something's giving it away. <laughs> It's not synchronised swimming. Prices start at 25 quid to use the centre's Via Ferrata, an outdoor climbing trail up Fleetwith Pike. I'm not doing that. A mountain that's twice the height of the Shard. Oh, my God. Even this is scary. Well, we've seen it. It's just like the loft ladder at home. Via Ferrata was the most scariest thing I have ever done. It's cliffhanging, because you can't call it rock climbing, can you? You can call it living hell. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, I can't do it. Oh, so my well God. Done. Go on. <sighs> That's great. This has got to be the most exciting holiday you've ever been on. No, it's the worst holiday ever. <laughs> High up one of the tallest mountains in the Lake District, our travel guides are road testing an outdoor climbing centre. This is not fun. To see what it can offer the average holidaymaker. I'm going down. Yeah, if you keep moving down towards okay. Craig. OK. I am shitting myself. We've paid £39.50 to do this, Stuart. I know how much we've paid. <laughs> is it money well spent? Not at the moment. <laughs> Do you feel like you're on holiday? Do I look like I'm on holiday? Where do I go now, Craig? I'm scared. Put your foot down, not to right. This is stupid. I thought it was quite easy, really. I didn't think it was out hard. I was bricking it. Say <laughs> <laughs> what? Right, <laughs> Just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I'm nearly there. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Are we on the rock? Yeah, on the rock. Got it. Oh, I got a bit of it. I am actually proper excited. What for? What is there to be excited about? I'm not into testing myself. I don't want to be tested. If you want to push yourself, I recommend it. If you don't, then I recommend you stay in your caravan. It's literally life and death, wasn't it? The centre's crowning glory is the Infinity Bridge, a high wire 1,200 feet above the valley floor. I don't understand why you want to pay to be to scared you. and fear for your life. Guys, be supportive. Come on, Marie, you can Go do it. Go, Marie! You won't, you won't fall off. <laughs> oh, my God! Guys, it's really scary. Is it? Yes! We're walking. Oh, my God. John, John, why is it moving? You're rocking it. You're knocking it. Oh, it's getting bouncy. John, John, shut up. The worst bit about it was everyone shouting in the background, putting me off. I just wanted to get from one side to the other as fast as I could. Not a thought for me. <laughs> no. Me Not behind one. you that were absolutely papping myself. Oh, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. Whoa! Stuart, are you enjoying it? Not even answering you. Some stupid bloody questions. <sighs> I thought Via Ferrata would have been easier than it was. Not as high. I thought we'd walk in the park, I could do it every week. Oh, why? You weren't one <laughs> bit nervous, were you? Not at all. No. There we go, lad. There we there. OK, guys, what? Wow. Guys, what? What's under the cup? What's under the cup? No, please don't tell me. Spider, I'll fucking... Is there a spider? I'll fucking... Yeah, but don't... No! Rena! <laughs> no, no, no! Rena, no! <laughs> <laughs> guys, I've got it in the cup! No, Rena! Guys, guys, this is... Go away! Mate. I promise I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to chuck it out. It's not going to get out. It's... I'll start... <laughs> <laughs> Get in bed, come on, go. Oh. Hey, look at all them buds you can't <laughs> Good night, my lum. Mm. Nash is out, eh? Nash is out.
The woods in this national park may be renowned for their walks, but if you dig a little deeper, there's plenty more to be found on the forest floor. I think it's this way into the camp, guys. Becoming increasingly popular with visitors are bushcraft courses. Welcome to Winlatter. What this is about is having respect for, for our environment. I feel like we should be connected with the whole process. Eating them as well. Here you can channel your inner Berg riddles and learn survival techniques. Um, obviously it was... A half day course starts at 40 quid per person um... and begins with the basics like lighting a fire. Got my balls here, you haven't got your balls. No, I've got my balls, but not in my hand. <laughs> They're there. There's no guarantees with this, so you've just got to persevere. Oh, I'm in. Oh, there you I'm are. a light, I'm you're a light off. to beat you. <laughs> you're a light. So what we can do to get it going, you go like that, and then just blow. This should be the best fire we've ever had. Lunch is also included in the price. You've just got to cook it first. So this is what we've uh, caught for you earlier. Oh, oh my God. Yum. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Does anybody know what they are? Pigeons. Wood pigeons. Wood pigeons. When he pulled the cover back and I looked at the board and that's going to be a lunch, I thought, uh-uh. I don't think so. So there's one each for everybody. One particular girl found it intriguing, but... She thought it were a pet. Yeah. So that's just as though you were strangling it and then turn until it comes off. Off with its head. This hole here, we push the, our thumb down there. She did not leave. I don't want to push my <laughs> thumb That's nowhere near yeah. that bloody thing. Your left thumb. I just couldn't have done it, no. I just didn't want to pull its innards out and wring its neck off. Even though it were dead, I just didn't want to do it. Oh, gruesome. <laughs> it's not very much meat. It's enough for one person, I think. But it's all you're getting, anyway. <laughs> yeah. Very few children know how to gut a fish or how to, you know, do that thing of very few grown-ups, even. So I, I, think it's, I think it's really good for them to know. Bruce Graff was the best of the whole holiday. Yeah, you like that the most. You're not really squeamish, are you, boys? No. <laughs> I wasn't really expecting to do this sort of thing when I came here. I was really wanting to do this, but I wasn't expecting them to actually do it with us. Yeah, because when I've done it with my schools and stuff, they don't really... Let you do it like this? Even let's touch yeah. a knife. I'm not uh, riding one of them to bits. Oof. Too squeamish me for out like that. Horrible, no, no I Oof. can't do it. I'd rather not do it and an hour later call the local chippy and get fish, chips and peas. <laughs> <laughs> You like it? It's delicious, yeah. Yeah. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Mm, I see what you mean by the liver texture. Really good. I actually feel so sorry for those pigeons. I didn't try the pigeon. Everything you eat has to die. <laughs> Everything we eat yeah, has to die. Can't, can't Even the, the lettuce dies, you know. It's, it's a kill or be killed. You world. will die eventually. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll eat you. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <laughs> Tonight, our households are escaping the caravans to sample the local nightlife. I think they're going to be dead shot when we walk in. I think their eyeballs are going to pop out and they're going to be like, I've never seen eye candy like this before. Let's go around here. Cumbrian craft ales and farm fresh food I mean the Lake District is home to some of the best traditional pubs in Britain. Oh. What do we think then? It's all right, isn't it? There's no one stares at you when you come in. Yeah. Well, that's what we thought it was going to be like, didn't we? It was yeah. going to be a bit like that. We had six fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine some right spicy guys in here. No, they're going to be bold, old. Oh, Do you I think love them bold and, and old. grey. Do you think it's going to be busy? It's going to be heaving. I can already feel it. Oh, it's really? heaving in here. None at all. None at all. I want a bit of action in the pub, do you know what I mean? I want the music to be on, I want the disco lights to be on my face. But there was nothing, there was just nothing there. I felt more like I was in someone's house. Everyone else seemed to know each other and we were just there, like, really random. It was very out of place. We was. 
I'm so pleased I'm not cooking supper. I am actually really pleased. Oh, it is a relief, isn't it? Yeah, because it yeah. was all too crowded and <coughs> yeah. hot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. More power. Way what in the board. Well, I'm not very sport by that. No, but you no. still love them. Oh, I still love them. <laughs> that is more up mine and Linda Street to have a couple of pints, a game of darts, a game of pool and a meal. It'd be too boring to stay in the caravan 24-7. I'm just pouring my nice croissant over my food. You don't feel like you're on holiday in this, do you? No. You're just eating nice food. If this is the best they've got to offer on a night out, on holiday... In the lake? Yeah. There's no wonder why people go abroad, really. Yeah. But you can't... There's no to complain at here, is it? But can you base your holiday on a lake, a mountain and a pub that shuts at 10, 11 o'clock? But that's England. When you come up here, you know what you're coming up for. And if you don't, then God help you. It's not the type of pub where I would go to meet people or make friends. Oh, the un unmistakable smell of fleece. <laughs> fleece, yeah. Everyone's got a fleece on them, yeah. bloody hiking boots and yeah. a hiking stick. The locals were clad in microfiber. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine us yeah. sitting down here yeah, really in ah. this little pub mm. and meeting people like yourselves. Yeah. Never yeah. met you before in my life. I feel like I've known you for ages. Yeah. It's just meeting people, I find it, I love it, I love it. Can we just have a yes. clash of the glasses? Chin chin. Good health, chin chin. Hasta la vista, Hasta I'll be back. Really? Oh yeah, we'll yeah, see you again. Yeah. <laughs>18th century romantic poet William Wordsworth was born and bred in the area. Tell you what, Linda, it looks a bit like it needs a coat of paint on the outside. Leave a card. It? Might leave a leaflet. <laughs> His childhood home has been frozen in time by the National Trust. And for £7.80, you can walk in his footsteps throughout this Georgian mansion. The National Trust members, they get in free. Yeah, we are, yeah. <laughs> no, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> if you're not National Trust members, you can join or you can pay. We'll pay, yeah. I'm not into museums, no. so unless it attracts me, I've not really much time for it. Hello, The really seems the words with the police. <laughs> I'm very sorry to have to pop out, but if you want to go through in the back office... Oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Born in 1770, Wordsworth lived here with his four brothers and sisters. Tour guides dressed as servants provide a flavour of family life. In this room, this is where... The family, Mr and Mrs Wordsworth, had to entertain important clients of Sir James Lowther. Mm -hmm. So this is the sort of fancier food in here. I think in the olden times I would have been lady of the house. No. <laughs> I would. Scullery maid. I'd, I, I'd definitely live upstairs, I think. Hello. Hello. That feels nice and warm. Yeah. Actually, there's some heat coming off that. Yeah. Just so happen to have a potato. Right. Can I put it on the fire? <laughs> I'll, have I'll have a jacket potato while I'm looking round. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> but if I had to work there, I'd have been the cook. I think Linda the men are good lady of the house and possibly even better lady of the night. Right. <laughs> 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 Hello there. Hi. Hi. So you the nanny? I'm the nursemaid. Where's the nurse nursemaid? Yes. Cool. Is he a good boy? Uh, no, he's a naughty boy, Is actually. He? He's a very naughty little boy. He's oh, yes, really? I think we've got the same. We've yes. had a lot of our 
sons, actually. <laughs> you know, just how she feels. I really liked Wordsworth's house, seeing how the whole thing was back in his time. With most museums, everything's behind her. If you go to these National Trust houses, everything's behind her. A a kind of thing, rope. and you're not allowed to touch. Yeah, you can't go yeah. past. But the here, rope. you could really join in and, and could, like, try on the clothes, which we, we really enjoyed doing. It was okay. much more interactive. <laughs> well, you look lovely, yes. sweetie. You, I think he looks really good. So look, they would have had no telly. No. No computers. <laughs> no no what, what, what? What would you have done? You? What would you have been like? Would you have been all right? No. So this is beetroot pancakes. Is that a sweet or a savoury dish? Sweet. Is it right? Sweet. And you get a mixture of sweet and savoury uh, on any the table at the same time. Right. right. Yes. This is uh, carrots done in a butter sauce. Oh. And that's because they were a bit wary of vegetables. They thought you could get uh, worms or the plague from fruit <laughs> and vegetables. I thought the Wordsworth Museum was good because they had real life people there rather than a very dry, you know, words on a wall that you had to read. And even Eleanor and Ben, I think, had some interest in that. So do you think that you've learnt anything? Would you like to live in a Georgian house here? No. That would just be boring, Georgian It's cold, house. isn't it? Yeah, and you wouldn't have Wi-Fi or phone. <laughs> no. So, no. Then. You don't say. It's a museum, so a bit boring, isn't it? After a week of reviewing what the Lake District can offer us Brits who holiday at home, I think I'm more of an afternoon beer man, to be honest. Oh, you would oh, be. Dear. Our households are making the most of their final moments. Come around here. A scaffold of cakes. <laughs> Pop this down here for you. <laughs> Thank you. Are we drinking our tea the correct way? Well, I am. I enjoyed the lakes. The whole environment I found quite relaxing and sort of a chilled atmosphere. But we'd never give up our holidays abroad, would we? No. In the sun. We do like the sun. I want to go out, I want to see some nightlife. It was just full of coffin dodgers. <laughs> <laughs> scones, scones. Scones on tea. Scones for the posh, we call them scones, don't we? <laughs> Can you see inside there? Yeah. Tea, right? What is it now? Scones. <laughs> <laughs> If anyone were asking me that's never been to lakes, I'd say, go on, see it, and you'll be surprised. We only live two hours away, and we always go abroad. Yet, yeah, in England, if the weather's good, there's loads of places that are beautiful that we've never seen. I'd go again because I liked it, but it'd be with my own transport. I have to start this curry now, or I have to leave it. Why do you have to eat everything on the last day? There's no point in taking it home with you, is there, once you've brought it? Accommodation, activities and spending money for this week-long holiday would cost around 365 quid a person. I'm just yeah. going to do this popcorn now. All right, thank you. What am I doing with all the eggs? There's some chocolate spread as well and to go with them marshmallows. Oh, I'll send that out then. And there's some biscuits and cake left. Oh, is that everything from the house? Can't be bad. There can't be much left now, can they? Put that salad on as well. I thought this holiday produced good value for money. It was a cost-effective holiday. Um, and we got out of it what we put into it, really. I think you're just a cheapskate, Dad. Are we going to have that garlic bread? No. no! Stop giving us food and drink. I'm looking forward to going home to have my tea and biscuits in bed with my dog. I'm watching 10 o'clock, Jessica. I just can't wait to have a bit more space to walk around. I can't wait to have a bath. Oh, my God, I'm oh. so looking forward to a bath. To me, I don't feel like it's a holiday holiday. I feel like that's more like a weekend of peace. It's like a retreat. Yeah. I did a lot of thinking when I was at the Light District. Like, I was just thinking about my life and, like, what, what did it you was. think about? Just, like, general, like, life questions. After my long think, I just come to the conclusion that the thinking is not for me. The boiled strip has not quite been the caravan of love they'd hoped for. I'll tell you what this caravan holidaying experience needs. is a cleaner, a restaurant so you don't have to cook, and a bit of room service wouldn't go amiss. Oh, I think you're talking about a hotel <laughs> there, aren't you, really? The caravan wasn't really boil-proof, and it was too small for us, yeah. For me, I was ready to go home and, uh, you know, out of that small confined space. I think we even left early. 
<laughs> Let's not get everything muddy, though. We got another bag. Just chuck it in. Right, I think we're done. Woohoo! We're leaving. We're going. Dad, why do we have to leave so early? Well, we've got to get you back home for school, haven't we? And I need to get out of this caravan and back into oh, my house. I'm quite happy to be going home now, yes. I must say. I'll miss you, Swings. I'll miss you. Magical Mexico for starters. Stephen Fry in Central America is Thursday at 9. Some amazing auditions kick off The X Factor on Saturday and Sunday at 8. Then Ray Winston stars in new drama The Trials of Jimmy Rose Sunday at 9. The ITV News is next.